Every time is always right for the Lord to do whatsoever He wants to do for you. The Lord is in heaven, sitting on His throne, planning success for you, making thoughts of how He will turn your life around, what to do to bring your life the changes that you wanted. You will only understand this when you are close to the Lord and when you know what the thoughts and the plans of the Lord are for you. The Lord plans that your life will always be the best and will testify of the goodness of the love for your life. That you will have everything in abundance and your heart's desires will be met. When your life is not blessed, you cannot pretend it is. When you do not have what it takes to change your life, you cannot pretend about it because your life is always a reflection of what you have and everything you have is always coming from the Lord to ensure that you have a good life and live a safe life in great love and peace. You could have everything you wanted to have and live in the abundance of everything, but when you do not have love and peace in your life, then you cannot live a peaceful life that is filled with the love of the Lord in your life. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 1 If I can speak in the tongues of men and even of angels, but have not the love that is reasoning, intentional, spiritual devotion, such as is inspired by God's love for and in us, I am only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. You need love so that you can live a loving and lovely life. Do you know that if you love your neighbor around you, when you have a love for your friends and your immediate families and relatives, your life will always have this feeling of accomplishment. You will always have an easy life, always happy and complete. This is what the Lord does for you when love works for you. Love transforms you from a person who has been down to a man that has been lifted high because love lifts people. Love is powerful and strengthens the weak. This is the life God wants you to live. This is what the Lord is having in thought for you and how he wants your life to be always. You could only enjoy this when the Lord reigns and lives in your life, when you have made the Lord the Savior and the kings of your life. It is when you are close to the Lord that you will know what the Lord is planning for your life. You have to always read and know what the word of the Lord is saying to you per time and season. When your life is not going the way it ought to go, when the plans you have set for yourself could not play out because you have not got resources to work out your plans and you have not helper, nobody to show you help. You do have a helper. You have someone that will help you and help the person you are thinking will help you. If your marriage is going from bad to worse and you have tried all you have to do to salvage the future of your marriage, but the devil's work is prevailing in it. This is a bad condition that you will need the power of the Lord to change the situations for you. You have always looked up to the Lord for help. You have cried when you lost your loved one. You have always been praying to God to give you a job so that you could earn a good living for yourself and your family. But. The devil has struck your finances with a condition of punctured pocket. You have barely survived every season and you do not know what to do anymore. There is always a way out. You have to know that you could only do things when you go to the Lord and when you go to the Lord, you will know that he has a plan for your life. Everything that is happening in your life is a function of the events that will lead you to your destiny. You have to only keep calm with the Lord because He has a plan for you and only the Lord can change the bad situation 
that you have found yourself. God has a plan for you. He is always planning for you how your life will change for the better and become the blessing that He wants it to be. You are in His heart. You make up His thoughts always. You are the apple of His eye and you are the thoughts that fill His heart every morning through to the night. Do you see how great and important the Lord holds you so dearly? You have the privilege to be loved by the Lord you are blessed to have a Father in heaven that is always doing things for you, turning things around for you, changing situations for you. Everything the Lord is doing for you is a show of His love for you. Jesus has made a way for you. God is always making ways and opening doors for your life to change for the good. You don't have to follow those that are telling you God has no plans for your life. You have to abstain from those that are always saying things to discourage you. They want to make you stop trusting in the Lord. That is the voice of the devil trying to make you feel God is not sufficient for you enough to do everything for you to change your bad situation to a good life to heal you of your disease, to increase your finances and bless you with every blessing of heaven. Never join them to say the Lord is not faithful because of the things you are going through. You are alive. That means the Lord has preserved you for a reason and that is because He is planning to change that condition for you. He is planning to bless you and make you the best you have ever envisioned to be. This is always the thought of the Lord for your life. You are going to see two ways God is planning to change your life for good. One, opening doors for you. There is a reason your life has been in that condition that you have been for a long time. Some things have happened that have made you not have what you wanted to have to yourself. That is because doors of access to the blessing and breakthrough have been closed to you. You are getting the rejection from the job interviews. Your proposals have always been declined because the doors have been shut against your blessings. You have been married, but you have not got your kids. You have waited on the Lord, but you are not getting the blessings of your children because the doors are closed against your blessings. Many things have happened to you because the door of access has been closed against your life and your life as a result of this has remained in the condition that it is in now. You have always been praying and God has answered your prayers and what he will do for you is to open the doors for you to gain access to your blessings. God will make the ways for you to break through and your life will change for good. This is why the Lord is planning to change your life for good. You will see how your life will transform from bad to the best, from the valley to the top, God is going to do it for you. The power of the Lord is opening the doors of blessing that has been closed against you and it has been hindering you from having the fullness of your joy, happiness, lifting and progress and the blessing that will come when you are successful. God is planning to open the doors for you you will see that the doors will be open for you to receive those blessings that have always been eluding you. There are doorways to the blessing. There are gates to every success. God is the mastermind to every blessing that you receive. Two, people's influence. You cannot remove the impact of people in the life of anybody that wants God to bless them and change their life to a good one. 
Before you are born, some people have been born before you. Before you will get to any stage in life, some people are there and they could put you through. When you are struggling to do things well, when you are not getting it right with life, when you are finding it difficult to rise and get things done for yourself, if your life is making progress, but it is not the same direction that will lead to the purpose of the Lord, do you not know that it is not every door or ways that will always lead you to your divine destiny? Some ways are leading to the path of destruction and death. Proverbs 14 verse 12. There is a way which seems right to a man and appears straight before him, but at the end of it is the way of death. But when God brings people that will influence your life and give you the right directives and training that will help you make a great life, you will see that every way that you tread will always lead you to your destiny. You want the liberation to come for your life, to change for good, for that blessing and the door to open for you to gain access and get the blessing. God is bringing people that will develop you and make your life great and beautiful. When you begin to relate and walk with them, you will see that your life will begin to take a new turn. You will know that the Lord has not just brought those people into your life in vain, but rather He has brought them to transform and change your life for the better and make the good things that He has made for you to come to you. If the people that are in your life are not the right people, God will start taking them out of your life. You do not have to struggle for it to happen because God is doing it for you already. When they are gone, then God will start bringing the blessed and the real people that will come into your life to make the blessed change to come through and your blessings will start coming to you. These are the plans of the Lord for your life. These are always the things God has had in mind for you. When He wants to change your life, you may not know that He has started doing it for you. Your life will begin to change now because God is about doing something for you. Opening doors and bringing people that will bless your life and your life will change into the blessings of the Lord.